Hi, welcome to the last part of the Simmer Pro tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you some easy ways to work and navigate with Simmer Pro. One easy method is, the, is a go-to function. You can use this to search your way through processes and see which is part of the process and which is not part of the process. Let's say I would like to know which fertilizer is used in tomato production. I can select the processes, materials, agriculture, food, now market process, and I'll search for tomato. I open this process and I have to look under input to see which fertilizer is used. Well, there is no fertilizer in this process, but the tomato production is input for this process. So I right click on tomato production and I press go to. Simmer Pro will highlight the process in the LCA Explorer and I can open this process. And now I'll look under input again and see which fertilizer is used. I see a fertilizing by broad broadcaster and phosphate fertilizer. So this is a way you can find your way back to processes to see which is included and which is excluded. But let's say I would like to know more about the phosphate fertilizer. I can use the go to function by clicking right, go to, and I can see the process for phosphate fertilizer. And so you can go back through the supply chain and see which is included and which is excluded. Another thing is finding your way through all open windows. When you're working on a life cycle assessment in an entire day, you will have lots of different processes open, life cycle assessments, some calculation setups. So you will have to, to find your way back to the process you are searching for. You don't want to close all of them because then you have to go back to the life cycle explorer and open them again. Something else you can do is press window and down here you will see all open processes, calculation setups, impact assessments you already conducted and you can easily switch between processes and other things you have open. Another nice feature Simmer Pro offers is the ability to change the screen sizes and the, the sizes of different fields. Uh, for example, you can make sure you've got a lot more information in your screen and a lot less white spaces, which can make working with Simmer Pro a lot more easy. Uh, also in processes, you can change the, uh, the sizes of fields, uh, which makes it all a lot more easy to work with. Um, and you also have a help function, press help. You can use a search function in Simmer Pro help, but you also have some manuals. For example, uh, an introduction uh, tutorial, um, which, which can help you understand Simmer Pro a bit better. Uh, the database manuals are very... Um, you can use the database manuals to learn more about the methods, uh, about the, re the recipe method, uh, the carbon footprinting methods. Um, you can use the, the methods manual for that. Um, and you can also use the database manual to learn more about the processes in, for example, the EcoInvent3 database. There's one last thing I would like to explain, and that's working with parameters. This makes working with Simapro a lot less complicated and it enable, enables you to quickly change values throughout your processes. You can create a parameter by clicking on parameters under inventory and clicking on insert line here. You will need to give the parameter a name, let's say weight of the plastic you are using in a process and you are using, uh, let's say, 500 grams in a product. So we say 0 0.5 kilograms. And I recommend you put a comment in to, to say, make sure you know what a parameter stands for. So this is the weight of the plastic you are using in your product. And let's say you're also not really sure about the, the distance of the plastic transportation. So let's say transportation of plastic is, well, we think it's about a thousand kilometers. So we put in thousand kilometers plastic transportation. So um, every place you put in the name of the parameter, the value will be uh, used. So I'll show you that clicking on a process, creating a new process, and the input value 
the input does not really matter at this moment, the weight of plastic. And you see the value 0 0.5 is used. You can also use a calculated parameter. Let's say plastic transport in ton kilometers, plastic transport in ton kilometers is calculated by W plastic times TR plastic divided by a thousand. And you see the calculated parameters take the value of the expression. Everywhere where you use the parameter plastic TR, the value 0 0.5 will be used. So if the distance changes to let's say 500 kilometers, we change the parameter here and also the plastic TR, the calculated parameter, is changed to the correct value. This really makes working with Simapro a lot more easy, so I recommend learning how to use this and try to be clear in your processes so you can get a, a easy, changeable product. That's it for these tutorials. I hope they've helped you learning to find your way in Simapro.